Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory our Father. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please finally like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, quickly follow me to the book of First Peter chapter 4. Because with the leading of the Holy Spirit, the Lord had me to share this word with you. Hallelujah. What a privilege for us to be called the sons and daughters. For the Lord to be speaking to us. Child of God, we are privileged. The Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Can you quickly... Follow me to the book of First Peter. Let's go to First Peter chapter 4 as we read in verse 10. Hallelujah. The Bible says, As every man had received a gift, even so minister, the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Hallelujah. The word that the Lord told me, they say, As every man. In other words, everyone has received from the Lord. If you are a born again Christian right now, you are asking yourself, what is your gift? You don't know what God says you should do. You don't know how to go about it. Rather, you are that kind of person that already know what your gift is, but you don't know how to go about it. God had me to talk to you, you know. God had me to talk to you. Sometimes we intend to look at those that are already using their gift to judge our own gift because we felt that, oh, our own is too small. God had me to tell you, child of God, that there is no gift that he has given to you that is too small. Anyone that you see that they are using their gifts and you look at the way their gifts have taken them high in life, you are like, wow, this person is so privileged. God so much love this person. Ah, this gift have really opened doors for so, 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 and so person. Yes, we see people like that and you want to like feel like, oh, because you have not shown your own, because you have not started. Is if he, he make it look a bit as if it is worthless. No, no gift of God in us that is worthless. Child of God, sometimes you might be asking yourself, how will I build? How will I build this gift that God has given to me? How will I build? You, you are hearing me right now. You already have the gift. But because of the pressure of this world, because of those that have the similar gift, how far they have gone, you feel discouraged. No, child of God, don't feel discouraged. God had me to tell you to always remember that a journey of a man, you know, a journey of a man is started with a single step. It started with a single step because the pressure that you are feeling, like, I don't know if my gift will be recognized, if my gift will do this. Let God do the recognition. Let God be the one that will make you visible. All you need to do is to do it. When God give us something, he does not take it away. I told us this before. When he give us a gift, you have a gift of prophecy, a gift of dream, a gift of different kinds of things, a gift of prayer, a gift of kindness, a gift of faith, you know, courage and all of that. All of these are gifts, you know. You have all of that gift within you. You have all of that gift within you. God is not going to just press you to bring to you start using it he has given it to you he will not take it you have to make a move you know there is a word that i think in the in proverbs specifically proverbs there is a verse that said a little sleep a little folding of hands a little sleep a little slumber it says so shall that poverty come in other words what you have when you don't use it to work it becomes dormant it becomes dormant don't look at those that are already prospering in the similar gift that you have and you start discouraging you start feel, you start you will just start feeling discouraged hallelujah glory to jesus you know one thing in life is that that gift that you have no matter how little it is when you work with that gift the gift will multiply god is a multiplier of everything that we do i am telling you Whatever we put our heart to do, God will multiply his blessing on it. As long as it gives God glory, anything that we do to the glory of God, God will multiply his glory on it. 
Hallelujah. Now, child of God, you might be looking at so many things like, I don't know where my gift is. Now, let me speak to those who felt like, oh, they don't know what is their gift. What is my gift? Evangelist, what is my gift? I don't know what God said I should do. This is the reality of a child of God. God is not a magician. Neither I am. The word of God is already a gift that we have. This is the reality. If you are not looking outside the will of God, you now become a desperate search. Like, what is my gift? What is my gift? That is why so many people will not go to the level of asking people who read future, you know, because they are desperate. They want to know what is their gift. If you don't know what your gift is, if you don't know what you are passionate about, if you don't know what God has always put in your heart, even right from when you are small, or what you want to choose, the word of God is already a gift that will direct you. Then go to the Lord with his word. I am not saying go to human being. Human being will deceive you. They might, they might tell you at the end of it, you see that that is not the right road that you enter. I am not saying go to even pastors or prophets or women or men of God. You yourself that already know God now. You are already a man of God. You are already a woman of God. So you can't tell God, what do you want me to do? This is the gift that the Lord has given to us already. His word is a gift. And everything that we need to know is in the word of God. Do you know that when you make the word of God is a gift, you can spread it to nations? When you take the word of God and say, well, I don't know what my gift is, but I'm going to start reading my Bible. I'm going to start praising God. I'm going to start shouting hallelujah. I don't know what my gift is. Eh? I'm just going to start clapping for the Lord after I've studied the word. Maybe one day you are clapping for the Lord. Somebody will say, I love how you clap for the Lord. Maybe one day you are quoting the Bible. Somebody will tell you, I love how you quote the word of God. Then the gift in you is coming out. Then the gift in you is coming out. Hallelujah. If it is outside, the ask, what I'm talking about specifically, the gift I'm talking about, it is when it comes to the body of Christ. Now, I know we have other gifts, other things that the Lord has blessed us with. Gift on investment and all of that. But this message is specifically in the aspect of the spiritual things. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Now, when we go to the book of, um, let's go to 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. I hope I'm speaking to somebody. That little gift that you have, don't let it quench. Don't compare and you let your own light quench. Lights shine differently. There are people who have touch light. There are people who have like this kind of light that is reflecting on. There are people who have the kind of ring light I'm using now that is bold. You know, there are people who have light like moon. There are people who have light like sun. So everybody, light cannot shine the same. One matter is that let your own light remain shining. Don't let it off. If it is a touch light that, that you have as a light, let it keep shining. Let it keep shining. We all have our space in life. There are some space that God don't want us to cover. So somebody else will cover that space because he knows what we can carry. There are some space he wants us to cover that another person cannot cover it. Then with the light that you have, you will cover that space. So don't look at what the gift that you have that someone else already have and you are feeling like, oh, this person has gone too far ahead of me. Yes, child of God, life is not a competition. The only one you are permitted to compete with, compare, compete with, it is yourself. It is yourself. Yes, you can be inspired by men. If you can be inspired by people, that does not mean that you should not be inspired by people. You should not be stirred up and say, ah, this person is working hard. Me too, I can work hard. If it is coming from a good place, it is okay. If it is coming from a place, not a place of jealousy or envy or hatred, it is okay. Not a place of unhealthy competition, it is okay. But if it is coming in life, it is coming like, oh, eh, this person, I'm inspired by you. It is very much okay. It means that you want to be better. You are like, these are God's people. If they can do it, I'm also a God's child, a God child. Then I can also do it as well. 
that there is nothing wrong with that but the only person that you are permitted to like to compete with it is yourself if you have done a little yesterday you should be able to do more than what you did yesterday that is the competition that is healthy i am telling you i am telling you glory to jesus glory to jesus now let's go to the book of first corinthians first corinthians let's go to chapter 12 Let's go to chapter 12 and let's read from verse 4. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Now there are diversities of gift, but the same spirit. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of oppression, but is the same God which worketh all in all. Hallelujah. But the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with them. For no one is given by the spirit, by the spirit, the word of wisdom. Say, for to one is given by the spirit, the word of wisdom. To another, the word of knowledge by the same spirit. To another, faith by the same spirit. You see, by the same spirit, by the same spirit, by the same spirit, by the same spirit, same spirit it is to the glory of the Lord. It is to the glory of the Lord. Child of God, don't let your light off. Because you know that there are some persons, when you have a little gift and you maintain that gift you fuel it you can desire all that gift and god will add it when god sees that you are faithful with that little gift that he's, he gave to you when you are faithful with the little gift that one that you call little when you are faithful in it that little light that god gave to you when he see that how careful you are with the light you don't want the light to go off he will increase the light that is why you see people who were just like they, they were just like only Bible readings. They were just teachers, Bible studies, you know, students. From there, the Lord gave them the spirit of speaking, the gift of speaking in tongues. From there, the Lord gave them the spirit of prophecy. From there, they go, they go higher in wisdom. From there, they got all their gifts. Why? Because they were, they were really, they were dedicated to God with that little he gave to them. God want to trust you with more. Don't let the pressure of this world off your light. Yes, child of God, if you can fuel that gift that you have, God will add multiple gifts to it. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.